are ready for competitor number six and to get the prize wheel out of the way, our competitor number six from the Department of Biomedical Engineering, Zara Gyasi. Zara. Vaccines. They are one of the most important health interventions we have ever developed. In fact, they are often considered as essential for public health as clean water. Recently, mRNA vaccines, like the ones developed for COVID-19, have revolutionized the way we fight pandemics. But how do mRNA vaccines actually work? We know that in conventional vaccines, we inject an inactive or weakened form of the virus into the body to trigger an immune response. In mRNA vaccines, on the other hand, we inject the mRNA, the genetic code of the virus, into the body. Our body then uses this genetic code to produce a small, harmless piece of the virus. This teaches our immune system to recognize and fight the real virus if we are ever exposed to it. mRNA vaccines are easier to produce, they work faster, and they are safer than conventional vaccines. However, there is a major challenge. mRNA is extremely fragile. It breaks down quickly and has to be stored at an ultra-cold temperature to be stable. For example, the Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine needs to be stored at negative 112 degrees Fahrenheit because it's prone to degradation. This requires a special and expensive freezers and a carefully maintained cold chain. Well, it creates serious challenges in how we store and how we distribute vaccines to different locations, particularly to low resource areas where this super cold storage simply isn't available. Here is where my research comes in. I'm focused on making mRNA vaccines more stable. By using experimental and computational tools, I modify the mRNA molecule itself. Basically, I optimize the shape and structure of this molecule to make it more resistant to breaking down. This helps the mRNA last longer, allowing the vaccines to be stored at higher and more practical temperatures. Additionally, these modifications also make the vaccine more effective by boosting the immune response with just a single dose. Ultimately, my work could lead to vaccines that are more effective, more durable, and easier to distribute around the world, helping us stay one step ahead in the fight against future pandemics, no matter where in the world they occur. Thank you.